Hi everyone, I'm here today with a read aloud to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, so this week um, is our last week of celebration. Of course, you know that I will continue to do read alouds um, and share on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to read to you today a book called Abuela. It's by Arthur Doros and it's illustrated by Alisa, Alisa Clevin. And when I was a second grade teacher, I taught second grade for 10 years. This book was one of my favorites um, that I would read with my second graders, so I'm going to read it today. And the book is called Abuela, which means grandmother in Spanish. I'm going to try to allow you to focus more on the illustration, so I'm going to move myself this way. Abuela takes me on the bus. We go all around the city. Abuela is my grandma. She is my mother's mother. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Abuela speaks mostly Spanish because that's what people spoke where she grew up before she came to this country. Abuela and I are always going places. Today, we're going to the park. El parque es lindo says Abuela. I know what she means. I think the park is beautiful too. Tantos pájaros, Abuela says, as a flock of birds surround us. So many birds. They're picking up the bread that we brought. I love the illustrations in this book. What if they picked me up and carried me high above the park? What if I could fly. Abuela would wonder where I was. Swooping like a bird, I'd call her. Then she'd see me flying. Rosalba the bird. Rosalba el pájaro, she'd say. Ven, Abuela. Come, Abuela, I'd say. Si, sí, quiero volar, Abuela would reply as she leaped into the sky with her skirt flapping in the wind. What an amazing imagination the author has, right? We would fly all over the city. Mira, Abuela would say, pointing. And I'd look as we soared over parks and streets, dogs and people. And so if you ever get the opportunity to look at this book on your own, these are my favorite illustrations because it's such a busy city. And if you take a look, every time you look at the illustrations, you'll find someone else um, doing something different. So like over here on the rooftop, you see a woman who's hanging her laundry, right? Down here, you see people dancing and walking with baby carriages. So it is a really awesome um, illustration. Hopefully you guys can see that. We'd wave to the people waiting for the bus. Buenos dias, we'd say. Buenos dias, good morning, they'd call up to us. We'd fly over factories and trains. And glide close to the sea. Cerca del mal, we'd say. We'd almost touch the top of the waves. Abuela's skirt would be a sail. She could race with the sailboats. I bet she'd win. We'd fly to where the ships are docked and watch people unload fruits from the lands where Abuela grew up. Mangoes, bananas, papayas. Those are all Spanish words. So are rodeo, patio, and burro. Maybe we'd see a cousin of Abuela's hooking boxes of fruit to a crane. We saw her cousin Daniel once unloading and loading the ships. So in Espanol, the words mangoes, bananas, papayas. So they say mangos, bananas, papayas, and then rodeo, patio, and burro are pronounced rodeo, patio, and burro. But those are words that you use in English all the time that come from Spanish. Out past the boats in the harbor, we'd see the Statue of Liberty. 
Me gusta, Abuela would say. Abuela really likes her. I do too. We would circle around Liberty's head and wave to the people visiting her. That would remind Abuela of when she first came to this country. So if they are flying over the city and they see the Statue of Liberty, what city are they flying over? If you guess New York City, you're correct. Vamos al aeropuerto, she'd say. She'd take me to the airport where the plane that first brought her landed. Cuidado, Abuela would tell me. We'd have to be careful as we went for a short ride. You see them hanging on to the airplane. Then we would fly to Tio Pablo's and Tia Elisa's store. Pablo is my uncle, my tío, and Elisa is my aunt, my tía. They'd be surprised when we flew in, but they'd offer us a cool limonada or lemonade. Flying is hot work. Pero quiero volar más, Abuela would say. She wants to fly more. I want to fly more too. We could fly to las nubes, the clouds. One looks like a cat, un gato. One looks like a bear, un oso. One looks like a chair, una silla. Descansemos un momento, Abuela would say. She wants to rest a moment. We would rest in our chair and Abuela would hold me in her arms with the whole sky, our house, nuestra casa. We'd be up as high as airplanes, balloons, and birds, and higher than the tall buildings downtown. But we'd fly there too to look around. We could find the building where my father works. Hola, papa, I'd say as I waved, and Abuela would do a flip for fun as we passed by the windows. Mira, I hear Abuela say. Look, she's telling me. I do look, and we are back in the park. We are walking by the lake. Abuela probably wants to go for a boat ride. Vamos a otra aventura, she says. She wants to go for another adventure. That's just one of the things I love about Abuela. She likes adventures. Abuela takes my hand. Vamos, she says. Let's go. And they're off on their next adventure. In the back of the book, there's a glossary of different Spanish terms that are in the book. Um, but this book is just so special to me. One, because it reminds me of all the second graders that I used to have in my classroom. Um, and second, because my grandma, um, I actually called, I didn't call her Abuela, I called her Mima but she was such a important person, uh, one of the most important people in my life. Um, and she just loved me unconditionally and we had such a special bond. And so when I read this book, I can't help but think about her. And she also lived in New York City for a long time um, when she was younger and when my mom was younger too. So um, outside of the illustrations and just how special the book is to me because it makes me think of somebody that I love, um, I just think it's a great read and I get excited, especially even still as an adult, but when I was younger too, when I see characters in a book who um, can speak the same language that my family speaks. So anytime I see Spanish in a book or references to, um, to the Spanish language or to Puerto Rico where my family's from, it just makes my heart happy to see my culture represented in a book. So if you have the opportunity, my friends, be sure to take a look at this book up close and so you can really appreciate the beautiful illustrations. I thank you for tuning in today for my read aloud um, and I'll be back tomorrow with another one for you.